Byzantine and I am wearing my coat because uh, it's kind of chilly outside well it's not chilly it was windy but sometimes you know the afternoons or the early mornings are quite chilly I don't know if you saw this coat before but I made it like before I I don't know I don't know actually when I made it <laughs> weird okay so today's topic is my attitude about niche perfumes um and it's a spontaneous video i was laying on a bed watching a video about fragrances and i thought i'll share my opinion about the niche fragrances with you so the thing is that usually i buy like the designer fragrances of course i've got my favorite chanel tom ford's bottega veneta's uh Guerlain's. of course i have them but you know another thing is that i would divide the fragrances into uh, designer, designer exclusives and so-called niche even though some of the niche fragrances are already so wildly available and they're not so niche sometimes they're even more mainstream than than the designer mainstream fragrances so I was thinking that I'll talk to you about uh the my what i think about the niche fragrances the thing is that i don't know the niche fragrances that well but i've tried some uh there was this uh, shop it's actually still there in poland called mood sand bar and i ordered some samples from them i remember smelling some zoologists uh smelling some bdk fragrances smelling some barrels barrios uh fragrance because i remember he had one uh, at the time when i was smelling it i uh smelled from another place um um this uh, two of the fragrances actually three of the fragrances from this brand from uae uh, called Western Valley Avenue London and I told you about one of their fragrances uh, in my perfume wish list uh, a while ago and what else I tried oh my friend uh, who is also a perfumer Miguel Matus he sent me some fragrances uh, of, of his and I really enjoyed them I made a separate video about them and but the thing is that to me it's a very unknown world uh there are so many fragrances on the market released every year like a thousand premieres every year and of course i cannot smell all of them but the thing is that i haven't smelled all of the designer fragrances already released and to me it's like mm, am i ready to enter another world uh when the world that i uh, prosper or uh, the world i i move around is quite unknown to me still um and because i'm you know i'm not a fragrance specialist i'm a fragrance enthusiast and um yeah i it's kind of like this this uh anxiety a little anxiety in me about uh the niche fragrances second of all um I have this thing when I am so afraid that if I like something, I may not be able to get it once again and once again. Uh, or uh, another thing is that even if they're available, you know, they're sometimes so hard to find because there are not so many retailers everywhere. Plus, you know, usually they're more expensive. So uh, that's a bigger investment and that's why i try to move around the designer fragrance realm if you call it this way let me know guys in the comments below what's your attitude towards niche i um watch uh, many youtubers that review um designer fragrances like demi rowling she loves her uh, i mean not the designer the niche fragrances demi rowling she loves her niche uh smelling great fragrance reviews uh another s fragrance reviewer perselase there are so many of them and 
and uh, they I am really tempted by them really I am really tempted but I'm still kind of like on the fence well, yeah like if I like it will I be able to afford to get another bottle or how to collect money for this bottle let me know in the comments below what's your opinion on the topic and see you next time Mwah. kisses <laughs>